Hi, hopefully all of you are doing good. Now, in the previous video, we have seen how to set up the Splunk role-based fill filtering and how to apply it on underscore raw fill and, and any other fields, right? And while doing that, we have basically, if you if you remember, like we were working on this, this event, right? Where we have basically replaced the actual patient name with some, some string over here and as well as the phone number over here, right? Now, in this particular video, we will talk about how this feature works when we talk about a imported role, right? So if I go back to my Chrome as an admin, and if I just show you the setup, we have it here. So if I just go to settings and roles. So currently we have our restricted role, right? So which is basically inheriting from the user role. Now we have our fill filtering logic on this restricted role over here, right? In the in the authorized.conf file. Now what if I create another role and that particular role import this restricted role? So let us do that. Let's create a new role called um, restricted restricted role one. I'll just give it a name and it just import or inherit this restricted role over here, okay? And I will create it. So once we do that, so it should create an entry in our authorized.conf file as well. Now what happens if the role this guy is importing over here, if you see it, right, has a fill filter logic, as well as my current role, this restricted role one also has fill filter logic on the same field. So let's do that. So let's say restricted role one has something like unknown patient. Okay. Unknown patient and instead of phone number X, we'll just give it as Y, 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 Y. Okay. So let us do that. And let us try to see what happens in this particular scenario. Let us try to reason through it. Okay, so I think we need a Splunk restart. I will come back after Splunk restart completed. Okay, our Splunk restart has been completed. Now let us create an user which will assume that particular role, that restricted role one just now we have created it at, right? And see what's, what's going on there. So we will just create a new user. Let's say restricted restricted user one, I will just say, and I will set some password over here. Okay. And some password over here, it should have the role called restricted role one, I will just uncheck this one. Okay. So we have created a restricted user one. Now let us try to log in with the restricted user one over here and just try to see what's going on over here. So what we can see as a replacement value, should we see uh, this one or this one over here, right? So, so if I just run index equals to main for all time because I have only two events over there. If you see it, now we can see the one the fill filter values which are belongs to the restricted role one over here, right? Because why it happened? Now, when this restricted role one imported this one, this restricted role, right? So the Splunk first applies this fill filter on the events there. Now it finds out there is another fill filter defined at this restricted role one level as well. So it applies that one again over here. So that means the fill filter logic or settings defined at the role level, which imports other role as well. And if that fill filter is applied on the same field names over there, so the local one always take precedence over here, right? The restricted role, if it is having the same fill filter logic defined it over here, it will always take precedence compared to any other imported role it has, it is having. 
over here so this is the important thing here so if you see like using this one you can create a lot of different views of your data right based on you create role and import some other roles over here now let's talk about this thing where we previously have seen we there is a index called test as well here right and when i did not have any other settings apart from this fill filter so what splunk applies is everywhere it finds that particular field name it just apply this fill filter logic over there right now how to restrict this so there is another settings called fill filter limit so which is came into picture because if as I, as we have seen it before right the fill filter applies way before all the different other operations like the uh, field extractions and other stuff lookups and other stuff right so what happens if you are not restricting restricting it to a some certain source type or host what will happen it will apply applicable for all the different indexes throughout all the source and source type right so this can have a performance impact as well on your searches so to overcome that so what we can so it's up to us how we can plan it right so we need to plan it accordingly like which data for which source type you want or which host and source and source type you want to restrict it now this fill filter limit can be applicable only for these three fields host source and source type now if you want to restrict based on user so there is certain things when you create the role right so at that time you can define which user can have access to a particular index there right so that thing that index level filtering will come into at the role level when you create the role but at the fill filter level restrictions can be applicable only to the host source and source type okay so let's say for this test i have this source type called test source type right and if i just go to our main index here my source type is sample now let's say if i i if i just want to have this fill filter applicable only to this sample source type how we will do it we'll go back again to the same authorized.com file so let's apply on this restricted role here okay so we will say field filter limit okay now this is the syntax of it either it will be host then double colon host name or i or it will be source then double colon source name or it will be source type source type double colon the source type name i will just give the sample here because that's my source type name here right that's my source type name so if i just save it now now let's restart splunk once then we will see its effect okay our splunk has been restarted now now we need to log in as a restricted user because that user has this particular role right so let us log in there with our restricted user and see what's going on over there so now we have filtered the fill filtering logic right based on source type so that means if that particular user access index equals to main there right which is having this source type equals to sample it can see like this fill filtering whatever we have set it up for this restricted role is applied over there right now if it goes to index equals to test what is happening let's say because it has a separate source type over there and if you see like it can now see the actual patient name and actual phone number over there so this is how you can restrict the role sorry the fill filter using a source source type or host over here right and it will behave similar way right for the imported role as well so whatever is defined here and if the role which is importing the other role is having the similar settings it will always overwrite but otherwise it will club it over here let me show you an example it's a very good example i have seen in splunk documentation if you see this one right so they have created three roles here role underscore testers which has a fill filter on this field splunk server and fill filter limit only this audit trail source type 
now there is a tester to role which is having a fill filter on any other uh, a different field and fill filter two different fields over here right and a different source type over here similarly for tester 3 as well now if you define a role which imports all these three roles over here right and assign a part this particular role to any user so this particular user will have access to all these three different source all these two different source type as well as data coming from this host as well as because there is no common field applied to this field filter over here right so whenever splunk encounters these fields it will apply this field filter logic over here right so you can basically combine them to create your own set uh, own view of the data which you can assign to a particular user over here so this is how the overall functionality of the splunk role based field filtering works so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video